every year, but he did it not that long ago, and he's doing it again because of the um, eye loss. So that's on Monday, plus I have more blood work. Lots of blood work. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is I have leftover mesh, plus we're cutting up mesh. This is from Personalize It by Pam. And it's my name, Carmen, in capital letters for your 10% off. This is 11.7 inch sign. She is so cute. I couldn't help it. I was like, you know what? You guys have been asking for an Easter wreath. And she came in. And I didn't expect her to be so beautiful. And I was like, we're going to do this. I, I have to do it. I have to. Because I, I want to do the swag. Um, and I wanted to let everybody know ahead of time on the military spot. But this is absolutely adorable. Okay. And at Dollar Tree. So you're going to be happy about this. At Dollar Tree. The same flowers that she has around her in the grass. These are pansies. And they're violets. And they have the violet and the yellow. Just like around her in the sign so it's perfect and you can get them for a buck at Dollar Tree then I wanted to show you what I want to add with it now the tulips I'm going to tell you the tulips were not in great shape so I didn't get I have something that kind of looks like tulips so we will definitely do that let me grab this everything's fallen sorry everyone um, so you all know that on uh, March 4th is my shots for the mind grains as well, all right, uh, for the brain tumor. So just letting you know. Okay, and at Dollar Tree, what do they have for a dollar? For one dollar, you can get the little chicks and the little bunnies. And what is up above our cute little bunny? Our little chick. Isn't it cute? So cute for a dollar. And it's so cute. These are the little walking chicks that you can get for your kids for the little Easter baskets. <laughs> but we're going to use it. We're actually going to use this if it stops walking. Okay, it stopped walking. We're going to use this in a race. Okay, and they have little chicks and they have little, little teeny, 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 tiny bunnies. So this particular sign has the flowers that you can get at Dollar Tree, and it has the little chick. Perfect. It goes with the sign. So we're going to have some fun with this. All right. So cute. Isn't it cute? All right. So, so far, um, have more blood work. More blood. More blood work. And I have to finish. I because you have to start the urine. It's a 24-hour cortisol. I don't know if anyone knows anything about pituitary tumors. I know we have some nurses in here. Okay, pituitary tumors, the one I have, is inside the pituitary. And um, like my doctors have said, with the eye loss I have, that's saying that it's hitting the optical nerve or it's growing or the stem is bent hitting it. So we're trying to figure all that out. Um, but I have a specialist that is hours away that we got to go see um, for hormones on top of everything. Because no matter what, um, no matter what comes out of this, they have to treat the cortisol. It's getting out of control over the past five years. As all of you know, I'm always sick. So we finally found someone who actually, actually treats it. So we're excited, but what comes with it is they do a saliva test, they do a 24-hour urine, because what they're checking for, uh, and they shut off the pituitary too. You have to take a pill at midnight, um, blood work before 7 in the morning, on lots and lots and lots of blood tests, and the thing is they give you a pill, it does make you sick, you need to take it and um, right at midnight and you go to sleep and then first thing in the morning they take your blood okay and that tells them if the cortisol is coming from the adrenal glands or from the pituitary 
right? That's number one. Then they also give you, they do the saliva, you have to do a saliva. Um, there's also other blood work. There's just a lot of stuff. So I'm um, going to see a new endro that's for hormones on top of neurology. And uh, it's a lot that I'm going through. Plus I got my diagnostic mammogram scheduled too. So um, they're trying to get everything all done at once. So just bear with me. I'm trying to get, um, I'll still be in here. You may not see me on YouTube, but you will see me in here, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut up some mesh. She is adorable. So as you can see, we're also going to be doing ribbon. Let me show you that. Okay, so I don't, earlier, a few months ago, I sh well, actually about six weeks ago, maybe two months ago, I showed you a bunch of flower ribbons. This is two and a half inch ribbon and it's kind of like um, a floral, okay? It's just, it's just like a print, a really pretty tie-dyed floral print, all right? It's got yellow and pink and really pretty pastel colors in it. So we're going to dress that with, of course, our stitch ribbon. I have green, purple, yellow, and pink. All right, so you know how that goes. Depends on how we do, how this all looks, and then the flowers. All right, so I'm going to push this down. We're going to go ahead and cut. So uh, what you need today to make this is we're going to be using, of course, our pink and white poly burlap, and then our green poly burlap. Now remember that when you use this, you don't need a lot, especially if you're going to be mixing in some mesh and we have leftover green I have some green and some pink and you don't even have to have it the same size to layer it in all right so we always cut this I like to cut it at 20 all right these are your poly burlap check from craft outlet pink and white and then your lime green all right because you want to do the pink and white to pull out the pink and white around her all right, so you only need six pink and white because the green, you want to mimic the grass, all right? That's how you get your floral. So you want your pink and white, but you want your green to put your floral in the chicken and to bring the whole reef alive, all right? So we want to we want to bring the picture, the beautiful bunny, bring her alive through what we make. All right, so we're going to do six of our pink and white at 20. And I think I have one, two, three, so, right? That's the short one. So I got to cut. Remember, we had a couple extra pieces. One, two, three, four. So I'll cut two more. All right, and you can use your... 10 inch or you can do the 21 inch and cut it in half so and this is your lime green now I like the lime green because it looks green all right they have olive and they have green get the regular get, just get the green it says the lime green on it but it's green it's like a moss green all right? so the, the most that we're going to be cutting is our actual green so I want to cut one more of our pink and make that six I might even cut let's do two more at 20 and make sure that you have your rocks all right one more and then we'll cut some more green so at 20, alright, so our green is the one that I want at least 12, alright, so pink, we're just going to have 6, if I feel I want more, then we'll add more, you want to do a real grass look, and mix your pink and white in it to bring our bunny out, but to bring the floral out, 
we want to do green. And green is going to bring out your beautiful floral print. The floral from Dollar Tree, your flowers. It's going to bring it right out and make her pop. So we want to make her really pretty. We want her, the sign, to come alive through our wreath. So I got two. Just cutting. I like to cut two pieces at once. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got twenty. Eight, nine. green she's so cute she's absolutely adorable I'm very excited she's so so cute so I will be on YouTube tomorrow afternoon I don't know what time it all depends I don't want to put a time but it'll be early afternoon not late and we will do something on YouTube probably get the, I have a little bunny one I might do, I'm not sure, but um, we'll do something on there, because I have the little bunny sign that I showed the other day, so I'll see, or we might go ahead and do our apples, since we're doing our bunny on here, alright, so I have left over um, from the other day, is we have some short pinks, which you can use, don't throw out your mesh, I have some 10 inch pinks, right, and then I have some bigger pinks, and it depends on what you want, but I'm not, I don't throw anything out, because I always use it, let's see what, how many I got here, yeah, they're actually, yep, they're 10 inches, alright, so we have 10 inches, and we have a couple 10 inch pieces of moss green. Alright, so now we want to try to bring, and I like, you all know, I like to look at what I'm doing to create. Alright, so now you want to decide, do you want your pink here or do you want it here? But I like the grass. That being said, we're going to do our grass first. So I'm going to take this, we're going to take our 10 inch pieces, and yes, you can use 10 with 20. I want to start off on the outside of this first. It's exciting. Okay, this does not have to be perfect. You're just going to grab it just like you would. We're going to do our flower ruffle. Just take it and go right here first. Um, I kind of like to do this one first, actually. Let's do our center first. Center. And you see, you don't have to have big pieces of moss green. We have something that's half the size and you're still highlighting it. You don't have to have a lot. I just like to use it as a filler. Kind of gives it a little bit of color. 
and I'm not even using as many pieces. Just a few. Just what I have left over from the other day. And that's it. There we go. Just like this. So the bus driver, I got to come up with a bus brief for our bus driver. This guy, and he's probably about, I want to say he's like, like Mikey's age. He's about 30 years old. He's not, he's not, he's a young, young guy who works with our special needs, who's so attentive and so loving who actually will say, you know, I think the baby's coming down with a cold. He, sound, he sounded a little congested, um, you know, from this morning to this afternoon. Um, he hasn't been his playful self. We get so much from this guy. He absolutely, the baby gives him high fives. Um, you know, because the baby does go in a wheelchair to school and he has a little lift that um, puts him up and down and he puts him on there and they strap him down they put the lift down and the baby always he's okay Leon hi buddy the baby says yay he's like bye buddy and the baby goes bye he gives him high fives the baby always wants to try to pat him like hug him he loves him. This guy worries about him. Like, you know, I start talking to him and I had said, because um, he kept on saying, I'm really concerned. And I told him about his surgery and everything. Well, the baby has missed a lot of schools, all of you know. And he knows Michael's a single father. He went and did a close drive. He does all our Special Olympics, too. He's the bus driver for all of our Special Olympics for all of it. Anyways, he did a closed drive with other bus drivers and other people where, because he works at, um, he also works at Light, Lighthouse Ministries and he works with adults with disabilities as well. So he's not just a bus, he's amazing. Let me just put, this guy is amazing. He brought over four humongous bags of clothes for the baby. I was in tears. And he didn't, Michael, you know, was out there waiting for the bus this morning with the baby and they come right to our house. And, um, and so anyways, he hears it, he goes out there, you know, the guy told him, hey Michael, um, we got some clothes for the baby and he's like okay he goes well i'm gonna bring them by he didn't tell mike when and he came right after he got done taking the kids to school and i get a doorbell ring and there is four huge bags of clothes and it's from size four all the way up to like three, fours, all the way up to six. From Spider-Man to all kinds of things. And it's, he did not have to do that. He did not have to. And he's like, whatever you guys don't want, you know, um, he's like, don't worry about it. And I was like, oh no. Well, he doesn't fit into, we'll save. And He's like, well, we love, we love the baby. He means everything to us. We love him. And I was just like, oh, this is so, so nice. So nice. So I want to make him. i got to figure this out. And i got to go to one of our sign makers and ask them if we can do a special sign for bus drivers. Because they have a really, really important job. Remember how I talk about our nurses and we will be doing a nurse reef too this summer. And I talk about, you know, all of, you know, all the important things that go on. I want to do construction reef too for our blue collar because that keeps, you know, without our blue collar we wouldn't have our houses, our 
roads, without potholes. We wouldn't have our buildings. We wouldn't have, they are the um, foundation to our society. We wouldn't have anything. So I want to do construction. I want to do a bus driver read. I want to do other things too. So I'm going to talk to the ladies and see what we can come up with for our school bus drivers. And I want to do something special for him though because he, that's, you know what, that is a hard job for any bus driver to have to keep our kids safe. It's a hard job. So I'm really, and this guy, like I said, he is, every time we go to Special Olympics, he volunteers. He is there. And all the kids, not just the baby, all the kids, give him high fives, hug him, all of them, they all do, not just the baby. So it just is amazing to me, um, this guy is amazing. So, Alright, so I want to put a little pink, but I want to make sure that we maintain our grass, alright? So what I'm thinking is we can go over this with our pink and then another layer of our green, all right? And then what, that'll give us our pink and then it'll also give us our green. Because we need, you know, I want to get our pink in there. Oh, that green's so pretty though. Ooh, that green's gorgeous. Yeah, we want to do the green overlaying which is a pop of white and pink, all right? Okay. So, that being said, we definitely want to use this pink, and we only need six pieces. So, and you can do 10 inch, or you can do, you see how I cut all this mesh, and I use it. I use everything we cut. We have to, otherwise I waste and we can't do that. Alright, so let's get our pink. Now remember when you use your 12 inch signs that you don't need a lot of mesh. You really don't. But you want enough to make it, if you're going to use your floral, you want to give it that layered look. And you also want to fill this, because you don't want people to see through it either. So you want to give it some filling. So I'm going to take this and you don't have, I want to kind of put this on the outside. So in between each one, not on the crossbar, on the outside. Okay. So two to a bar. But you know how we layer this. Okay, and I'm going to take our green, there's a certain look I want to have with this. I do have a headache, so please don't mind me today. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take this, now remember this goes right onto bar three. So that being said, you can go to bar two or bar three. So watch. When you use poly burlap, poly burlap is so thick that you can tie this on and this is gonna overlay it. So you do not have to go to three. Now what I will do is I will go to right here. So this will make it right above the two, right on your crossbar, right, fold your pink going down, right, so when we put this on, it's going to overlay, just give it a pop of pink, but have that green, so we can highlight with our beautiful flowers. And if you want to do it all green, you actually can do it all green. 
but I want to do a little bit of pink because we want to add in the pink going around. All right. So let's get this. Remember, I'm only using 10 inches under our 20. Just giving it a filler. That's all I'm doing. Just a pretty filler. There we go. I have been wanting to do a military swag. So I think that will be actually perfect on Monday. And they're not, to me, swags aren't hard to do. I like doing swags. I like doing swags, and I think with that actual picture, it came to me earlier. I was like, wait a minute. I have swags. Why don't we use that and do a military swag and highlight that picture. So, that's what we're going to do. There we go. Let's take this. Remember, I'm just going over the crossbar right here. The green is a big thing for Easter, and you can use your you can use your moss eyelash unless you don't have to use this. If you do your moss, then you I would do like a curly Q style, and you can do just your you can do bar one and bar three. All right. There you go. I like this. Gives it a textured look. There you go. Very textured look. I am tired. This girl is does not does not sleep well. Like I said, I get I get the mind green, so and my shots are due. I get them in two weeks, so and that's what they're saying. Yeah, classes are gonna take you a little longer, Carmen. Mind greens are in, and you're everything's irritated. So let's don't. I can see perfectly. I'm just, I can't drive. I'm too dizzy. I actually can see clearly. I'm just got mind greens and dizzy. So like the TV, like the clearest I've ever seen it. I can read. No problem. I just have mind greens. So that is the four that get shots. So you know. Ten, like 10 days, so once that happens, I'll be good. That helps with the migraines a lot. A real life. So, our second layer, as you notice with the green, I am not using the moss green under it, only for our first layer, okay? We're going right above the second bar on the crossbar. Alright, so it's like two and a half. There we go. I will flip it over to show you in just a second. Let's get this on. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. Beautiful. There we go. So this doesn't take a lot. As you can see, we're not using a lot of fabric. When you use your 12 inch, you don't need as much because the sign's so big. So, that being said, you might pay a little more for the sign, but you use a lot less product. Alright? Same thing with the big sign that we're going to use. Even though, and even with the swag, well, I like to do my swags pretty though, so I'm not going to say that. I can't say that. So I like to fill my swags. 
but if you were to use that sign on a reef, you're not going to use a lot because this sign is really big. Right? That's what I was thinking today. I was like, you know what? This sign is actually perfect for a nice swag. A military swag. A door swag. So that's what we're going to do. I think it'll be beautiful. Alright, remember our second layer? We're not using with our moss green. Our green. Poly burlap check. You're not using any underneath it. Just it by itself. Alright. Going right above. So not a bar. Not above bar one. Right above bar two. And you can... not even as you can see I'm not even going I'm going on the crossbar but not cross bar okay I'm going above that you can do that if you want it gives me a little room to move it and I'll go over that too there's a second let's get it put together and then I'll go over it so when we're putting the sign on this moves up and down. If you're over the crossbar, it's going to lock it further down where you're not going to be able to maneuver it more. Okay? So it's not diagonal. Right? Not diagonal. It's right there. Right above two. Right there. Bar one. There's bar two. Right above it. So two and a half. Right there. Two and a half. Right, right here. There we go. It looks like I am, um, which is fine. I thought I had. Oh, I do. I got the other pink. Like, what is going on? I have more pink eyelash cut. There we go. In between. And bar one. So remember that you trim this too. Remember all this kind of folds down so don't be trying to do perfect because the sign is so big this is going to fold in half. So using 10 versus 20 and the pink actually works out. All right? this folds down. This sign is the cutest. God, I even got it. Now you forget. Literally. I was like, I forgot. I even ordered the big one. I knew I had a pink one coming, but I forgot I got the big one. And then it came in and I said, holy cow, this is too cute. I'm going to have to do it. So, I'm like, they're going to love it. Everyone keeps asking for Easter. Perfect. Perfect Easter. Easter bunny. So cute. There we go. This one is cut directly in half. Do not worry about if you cut 21 inch in half. Right? Remember, this is Holly Burlap is plastic. You can melt it. Alright. Trim, trim, trim. Melt, melt, melt. There we go. Take this under. And there we go. Then we got our last green. And that's going to get on my nerves. This is the leftover one. And then I see me 
finish turning this on. There we go. That's just me. There we go. Alright. And there's a green. So you have 12 green, 6 pink and white. Alright. Then I have six of the 10 inch eyelash pink and six of the 10 inch moss green. That's it. That's all I got. That's all you need. It's literally all you need with the 12 inch. 12 inch is easy, but at least it is for me. Easy, easy, easy. You just have to figure out how you want to do this. All right, now remember, I like mine to fall down. All right. All right. So let's put this on. This is going to be gorgeous. She is the cutest. Cutest, cutest, cutest. All right. So Pam does on the big ones. You can get the little holes if you want. I like to use. It depends on the round ones. I like to put my own holes here. I think she puts them on the... No, is that sugar britches? I think that's sugar britches, actually. Alright. So you can do four. We're going to try and do two. If you do it right, a lot of times I don't need four. Try to put... The least amount of holes in this as possible. Alright. Great thing is that this is easy to ruffle over so it'll hide the holes. You don't see them anyways. And you can attach, as all of you know, we can attach our ribbon on it. My little chicky so cute. You know me, I look at everything. Everything. Disappointed in the tulips at Dollar Tree. I will tell you that. They're not very good quality. Those and a lot of some of those stores don't quite have them in yet. Alright, so I kinda wanna put this right. around your crossbar on three cross like crisscross right so the crisscross 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 and I'll turn it upside down after we tie it on so let me show you so criss cross. Alright, so before you tie it down, pull your green going up. Alright. Green up. So it goes in half. Pull your green. Do not worry. It covers plenty. There we go. So Chris cross. Chris cross. One, two, one, and showing because you're not going to show by the time I get done with it. Alright. This is plenty. It's not going to hurt it. And you can actually tie it down tighter. It doesn't need it. Alright. This one should be very easy for everybody to do. 
just like our grapevine was easy. See? Bar one, two to a bar, one green, one pink. Right above your crisscross on two, so two and a half, right there on your crossbar. Then you tie it, your sign is actually tied around the crisscross on three. Okay? Here and here. You don't even see it. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Look how fast that was. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I'm sorry, Marie. There must be a lot of activity on Facebook. So we've been doing good. Sorry, love. I did post it in the um, messenger, too. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful. She's so cute! Here we go. Let's trim. Trim. Beautiful. Alright, so now we want to kind of gather this all in. Move this over to the room. Grab our little chick. I have two chicks. They're only a dollar. So really cute to highlight your reefs too. Really super cute. So I'm really excited. I'm going to kind of ruffle this. Gonna take your little ruffles. Very little chicky there. Now what I want to do is I want to highlight with our flowers. And what's really important is we definitely want to do ribbons. Pretty, pretty ribbons. Okay. Now, like I was saying, I was really disappointed with tulips. They had so... different things these will do so they go up so I want to actually push this up These are orange. These are actually roses. They're closed, so it will be fine. It only has one open tulip. These will actually match. Let's grab. And I'm going to take our purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Now you can put, you can mix a little light in it if you want, but I mainly want our purple and yellow. So this one has three. I'll use it. So I'm going for all the purple and yellow because it matches. All right. There we go. I was like, I seen these at Dollar Tree. When I looked at that sign, I said, I seen these there. I seen them. Walked in and there they were. I was like, I remember them. I mean, there's a little bit of white in it, but I can work with it. We can work with it. I grabbed five and I cut out 
are purple and yellow, okay? There you go. Put this away more over here so you can watch me. Yes, love. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, let's grab our glue. Alright, let's highlight our girl. Oh, please, I'm going to put two. Oh, I have an extra one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let me take that back. Six. Alright. And we'll see if I use all, all of these. Knowing me, I'm going to use them. grab this and let's start sprinkling this in. Now she has them right here and here so we're going to try to highlight the exact placement on the sides of her. Get our bow here. I'm going to put my little cheeky and get a bow. We'll see if we do a bow on top. Probably going to. So I want to get these right here. Remember that when this dries, just apply it with your hand. It just comes right off the spider webs. There you go. Aren't these beautiful? Just that little bit of white can actually make it a little bit. Not a lot. Don't want a lot because you'll take away from it. Look at how beautiful. I'm going to actually put this right here. why we have the green. See why we have the green? Highlighting it from our sign. Always try to put your sign into your work. Okay, I always go with art. We're creating art. Remember, this is our canvas. Our mesh is our canvas. Our flowers and our bow is around our centerpiece, our artwork. Right? And you are the artist. You are the artist. There you go. So, so beautiful. You see, it just has a little bit of light. Not the side of her. I was going to use these and not. I'm actually going to take. This is actually from Miss Donna. And I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I might. Grab these right here at the side. it because I don't really have those but I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna take this right here and 
push that down. Donna sent me these. Remember I was going to use them? I think I'm going to put them right there. I don't know where Miss Donna got them from. not in there, but that will pull into it. <laughs> kids are going to love this. I think I'm going to put maybe a little piece of ribbon around him. Just right here. Okay. So let's get this here. Alright, that being said, I'm going to take a little bit of green.
do this, you can actually tie the chick to the bow. Okay. So grab this and round his little feet. Just kind of give it just something here. It's nice and cute. Let's put this right here. You can even just put one if you want. There we go. Let's do our bow at the bottom. She's so cute. See, this is really cute. You don't need a bow, but we're doing a bow at the bottom. Right here. Right here. Okay. Put this over to the side. Alright, so I have this really pretty yellow with some pink in it. I'm going to put her over here. I'm going to grab this, and I want to put it right at the very bottom, and you can actually dress the bow up. You can make a long bow, you can make a short bow. Let's do, let's do our 10 inch legs, so 20 inches. Now I have that at the top. I kind of want to put, I'm going to push my chick to the side a little too. So you're going to see me shape them. Now that I'm looking at it straight up, I kind of want it up a little. So I'm going to move them up when I'm done with this. I might even add a second one. Not sure yet. I have another chick. You may add another one. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. Okay, definitely need purple. I have yellow in here. Put this to the side for now. Definitely want pink. Definitely want green. Alright. Let's take... Green. Pink on top. Purple. But I kind of want the yellow too because it defeats the yellow and the purple. Alright. I'm going to do more yellow. We're doing yellow. Four red 
crazy. Kind of yellow. Yellow and purple flowers. Yellow and purple. Kind of yellow. See this part. There we go. Alrighty. So we have these long legs here. I want to see this. Alright, this is really pretty. So long here. Twist up. I'll put down the um, ribbon for you in just a second. I'll put that down. Don't worry, so you guys can get the ribbon. This one. Because all the other ribbons we've used before, but this one. Alright, so remember this is a 12 inch sign, but I have my flowers here, so it's about. So about. Let's do about five on each side. If you fluff that up, that makes it eight inches about four on each side okay so five remember when you fluff it is shorter also remember that we don't do when you do the bottom like this you don't do real big huge gigantic big round bows right otherwise it will take away from your sign if you put it at the bottom the side bows, I like to do the big ones, but not the bottom. Bottom, we don't do big. It's not big, huge, huge ones, but beautiful. You do want it to be beautiful. And this is a pretty, pretty ribbon. This is gorgeous. So I will definitely put the code down for you in just one second. Here we go. Two, two. And do don't want it at the top, but I don't mind it at the bottom. Three. It's kind of like a flower. Make sure they're all the same. Two, three. going to twist this down. Do not be afraid to use this. Alright, because this is going to really be pretty. When you put the small ones with the two and a half, remember it's beautiful if you do it the right way. There you go. This is from Craft Outlet. Here, I'll go ahead and put your down as 2.5. This is a very fast reef to make. Here's your item number. This is your ribbon. And this is, um, it's like a, it's really beautiful. It's like a, it's like a watercolor. I'm going to put watercolor ribbon, okay? It's a watercolor floral. I don't know the name of it, but I do have your ID number. R. G A one six zero eight X K. Like that. Make sure it's make sure that it's capital. All right. That's two and a half inches. Beautiful. All right. So we want to kind of keep our our small, but not a lot because we have it at the bottom. But to highlight this. And I want to get all the colors. We have green, purple, yellow, and pink. So let's get this. I let's see we have green first. Let's do small because we have long. A bit smaller. You want 
don't want to cover up our floral. It's just smaller, so this shows up. Green. Four inches. One. All right, and remember that. You don't have to have a lot of ribbon to make something pretty. What I mean is I want to see the floral without covering it up with all the ribbon. So we got one, two, You're going to five to four. I'm sure we see this pretty floral. Push this down. This is shorter. Judy. I love you, Bob. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Alright, we're going to go to purple, yellow, then pink. Purple. Short. three squares is an inch when you're using your razor wired right you go down three squares that's exactly one inch so you just measure three three squares three squares is one inch that's how I measure it all right enough to give it all the colors that are in the actual sign, okay? There we go. Shorter. They're all one inch shorter in the length, too, of the legs. Purple and the yellow are really important to show. We want this purple to overshadow the yellow, to bring out your purple and your yellow in your sign. Flowers. Flowers. Right, one inch. Take our pink. Make this one really small, and this is just going to pull the pink out of the border and our sign. This is going to be actually about two inches shorter as far as our legs, okay? So we want these colors to show. This is going to be about inch. amount of color without taking away every color that's in the ring. So beautiful. Push 
shut. Hold down with your thumb in the center. Zip tie goes around. Up. Oops. Don't hear it. Didn't zip. Here we go. One more time. Gotta hear the zip. I always say, thank you, Jesus, when I hear that zip. Because otherwise your whole bow can be ruined. I don't like that. <laughs> I want my bow not to be ruined. Alrighty. So, as you see, when you do these, this small, to the back. This is perfect. Layer the way I want. Sitting the way I want. wire under make sure it's not where you pull your zip tie down because the floral wire can get caught in that zip tie right so it's above it the zip tie pulls here floral wire goes to the top above it right here one two pull Now, you want to tail end this one? You most certainly can. We probably will for the big one. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It actually depends on what it looks like on my range. So, let's see how it looks first. Tails ends is where you fold this in half at the bottom to the little ends. There we go. This is not a long reef to make at all. I've been doing... I'm trying to give you guys easy things to make. But still beautiful. This is a big sign. So right through that hole, you can tie your bow on. Take this. Around. Bar three. So just pull it under. And then we'll even it out once I get it there. Chickadee here. Put just a tad bit of glue. And push it down. Just a little bit. Should melt right to it. Be careful because you can burn yourself. I 
also tie it off with a little twister on it too if you need to. I don't want you to burn yourself so you can tie it. No. No. Alright. I shall show you with her standing up so you can see her. You're going to love her. If you want to tail in this, you can. I actually like it just like this. Isn't she beautiful? Perfect. Perfect. Remember that she's sitting to the side. So everything goes around the sign. There you go. Alright, so everyone knows. Let me go ahead and show you since we have a little extra time today. Let's go ahead and cover this back. Alright? So we're going to cover this back today. I'm going to show you how to cover your back. How about that? I know y'all have been waiting to see this. So this is going to be real easy. You do want to do this. Um, I like to actually put bows on everything I sell and cover the backs of everything. These are Dollar Tree mats. They are out now. Um, this one was the one that uh, Janet sent me. Angel Eyes. Alright. But they are out. When we went to go get the flowers, when my husband took me today, the, the actual mats were out in stock. Alright? Alright. So, this is called a metal hole puncher here. Alright? I like to go around it every three to four inches. Pull this in. So these are six dollars on your Amazon. One. Pull it in. You can get two for eight. Two. Pull it up all the way to the back of it. Alright, it goes right through. No problem. Now I do need to empty out the back because it's getting full. So you can see. See all the little ickies? Just like these are metal hole punchers for metal signs. Right? They're real tiny. Just like mini staplers. Go through it. may not think it's a big deal, but it is a big deal. All right. So decide on what color ribbon you would want to go around it. You just need enough to hang it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, must be coming down with a cold. My immune system's down. Alright, so you're going to push this to the side. First thing I like to do, and this eliminates taking your sticker off. Betty, I cover all the backs of every single wreath I do. Alright, so that eliminates taking that sticker off of there. You just take this right down the center of where it's going to hang. So decide on where you're going to hang it. Make sure that you pull it up and then it's going to hang perfect, okay? So you want to take it to the up. Make sure. That being right there on that wedge is perfect. Take it. You can do a bell if you want. I don't. I just do enough where you can put it on a nail or use the reef um, hanger that goes on your door. Alright. Now, 
my peacocks. A lot of people have asked me to do a bow with a monogram of their name. I do do that. And I don't, there's no extra charge when I do that. I have little monograms. They're wooden monograms, and you can do a bow up here, and you can put a little wooden letter for their last name. That's on the more expensive wreaths I do that, okay? I'm going to take, you want to try to get your thinner, so I'm going to actually have some little green ones. I usually use the white, but since I have green, I'm going to use green. I'm going to use the little ones. You can use your big ones. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go around this right here, around your bow with your zip tie. Gives it extra security. I use the white ones. I just had those there. I like small ones on here anyways, but I use the big ones. Okay, if you have little ones, use the little ones. If you have the big ones, it doesn't matter. Use any of your zip ties on it. With your bigger ones, push the head. Okay, so try to get that head of your zip tie. I'm going to go here because this mesh is around my bar. So you just tweet it through. You want to get through every couple inches on here. Every reef is covered in the back. Every single one. Just so everyone knows. I never sell a reef without the back covered. So it may seem like a little bit of work, but it also saves your work. Nobody can sit there. They like the backs covered. It protects their walls. It also protects your work, especially if you have fairs. They're not sitting there trying to guess how you put it together because they can't see the back of it. So they end up buying it and then taking it home and taking the back off. <laughs> but you get a sale. Just saying. I had a lady try to put her fingers in and look inside my reef. I was like, excuse me. Yeah, they will. So I always, always zip tie the backs every single craft show. Not one back is ever shown. Alright. Not on the reefs. So there we go. And it doesn't take long. Well, the bigger zip ties are a little, to me, they're a little harder to put on. Little ones are easy. Take long at all. I use the white ones mainly, though. I just happen to have the green out. I use the regular white ties. All right. Try to get as far as colors of mats. If you get a white, a white will go on everything. So you should get as many white as you can. Those are hard to get. Get your pastels and then you try to match them to the color of your wreath. Alright. So this is how I color the backs of all my wreaths. This will actually pop in. The small ones pop right in the hole. Push them in. Push them out to the outside. And if you get in the habit of doing this after each wreath, what's going to help you is it's going to protect the mesh underneath it, inside the back of the wreath. This is going to protect this mesh in here. Right? It also is going to save you.
from the night of preparing for a craft show, a craft fair, have these together ahead of time, or the night before, you're going to be covering all your reefs, and it is a pain. So, um, you kind of want to do them as you go. That gives you less work for if you're prepping for a fair or a craft show. Less work if you're selling them online because you already did it. Alright? Just telling you, it's less work if you do it right when you make them. There you go. Perfect. She hangs perfectly. Nice and neat in the back. And beautiful in the front. Alright. There you go. She's so pretty. Good night, Patricia. I love you. Alright. Any questions, anyone? We did a really pretty reef tonight. She turned out beautiful. Hi, Cindy. Night, Patricia. I love you. Hey, Lynn. Thank you, Judy. I love you, sweetheart. Cindy and Cindy Corso. Hi, honey. All right. Any questions, anyone? All right. Okay, so far as spraying this, anytime you use the mesh, the actual deco mesh, any type of mesh, not the poly burlap, but actual mesh, outside make sure you wear a mask now when you have your poly burlap over it you're going to see you're not going to need as much protectant you can actually take your heated tool that's like my blow dryer and you can go around your edges all right and that's we didn't use a lot so that's going to just take it seal it for you you can just do a tiny bit of your adhesive outside, wear a mask, be sure you cover your eyes too, All right? And then you can use your acrylic. Don't need a lot. Honestly, when you're using poly burlap over it, you just need actually just a little bit of adhesive. You don't need, you don't need a lot. It's when you use your deco mesh, standard eyelash, any type of mesh mesh, that's when you use all your protectants. But you're going to see with poly burlap, you don't need all that. Right? Not at all. Here she is. Okay, everyone. Hold up the sign so you can show John. This one? Or the military one. Here you go, sweetheart. There you go. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. So, so cute. Alright, so our military sign. Let me show that up too. So this is our bunny. Isn't she adorable? She's so cute. She is adorable. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. She's so cute. 